Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
a lot of fasting and feasting with the feast we eat a lot. It's a lot of food as well. Uh, it's a lot of charity, you all know this, but also a lot to reflect. And I would highly encourage you to set a vision, mission, and a set of goals for the rest of your life. Set short term goals, set medium range goals, and long term goals. I know you know this, these are just reminders. I encourage you and implore you. I was going to use a stronger term, but that's too strong. I, saying, I order you. I encourage you to think big. If you have goals for the semester in terms of grades and all that, there's nothing wrong with that, but I encourage you to think big. There's a number of reasons for that. Muslims are 1% of America, so we're used to, we're used to getting bullied, we're used to, on a daily basis, questioning whether we should or shouldn't be public about certain aspects of our faith. It's natural. Obviously, Muslim women that decide to wear a hijab, they basically decided that to at least a certain extent, they're public about their faith. Right? But there's also levels on top of that. Right? You might be giving da'wah and wearing a hijab, and praying in public and giving da'wah and posting on social media that you're wearing a hijab and giving da'wah. So there's levels of how public you are, but generally for wearing a hijab, you're doing that. Muslim guys, you know, it's easier to be under the radar, but I'm going to assume that all of you, many of you or so on, have already gone past that initial, like, I'm proud of being Muslim, not ashamed of it. If others know it, I'm happy about that. Maybe even your request that will come to your questions and so on. Beautiful. Although we're 1%, we're used to getting bullied, and yes, a lot of us, the majority of us, especially college students and high school students that I talk to, are still like probably, you know, maybe a level or two below you guys, right? In terms of still struggling with, am I Muslim, am I not? And am I ashamed of it? Am I proud of it? Despite of that, is there anything that might not change in our lifetimes? Fine. Despite that, we're 1%. The 1% can lead the 99%. The 1% can lead the 99%. If you're 1%, it matters. You can't ignore that. You can't act like it's not the case. It's a fact of reality they have to accept. Being a minority means something. Being a majority is different. It's a different culture, different side, way moving, talking, walking, facts. But 1% can lead the 99%. 1% to 2% of people, actually, in every society are the leaders. If you look at a company, you put the CEO and the supervisors, executives, board members, whatever terms you want to use, put them all together, it's one or two percent. Maybe even less. Could be a hundred employees in this, you know, one, two, three people that are that lead them. Could be thousands of employees at a company, there's like 10, 20 people in different leadership positions. Fair enough. One percent can lead. Two percent of people can lead. So there's no need to be no need to be afraid of leadership. Not obsessing over it. Not thinking that just because people accept you that that guarantees you heaven, because on the contrary, you should remind yourself every day, especially as a Muslim in America, that even if everyone hated you, which is not the case, not everyone in America hates us, but even if everyone hated you, if Allah loves you and is proud of you, you've not lost anything. If everyone loves you, cares about you, and says good things about you, and comments good things on your posts, etc., etc., Allah's not happy with you, you have gained nothing. But despite all that, you keep that in mind, at the same time, push forward and think big. 1% can lead the 99%. Just let's discuss. What's on your guys' minds? When you thought, when you heard vision, mission, goals, what came to mind? You might share with us something that inspires others. Let's talk. What do you guys think? Do you think Omalog? What do you guys think? Omalog's a good time to think about the rest of your year and the rest of your life? Not just me? You're right. <clears throat> you agree with that? Vision, mission, goals, talk to me guys. What are some, some of the goals that you guys have set for yourself? You might say it, someone else might be like, I didn't think of that. You guys want to just give you. Just, let's, we can just talk. So yeah, like for me, graduating soon. Uh, so, congratulations, man. Right. So, so planning out what I'm going to be doing next in terms of working, uh, studying for my CPA, getting married, building a family, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Building a family or a tribe? <laughs> we'll see. I'm not saying that because you're Nigerian. Uh, I, I, I just want to ask you, that's what I talk. I just realized that, but no, this, one, this is how I talk and this is what I tell people. Yeah. Because in a time where the families are, and it's not directly related to our topic, we can't talk about we goals, we talk about marriage and families and so on. The basics that I know, but in our times, families are struggling, and everyone, it's very clear. It's, the fact is, it's not an opinion because when the left wing and the right wing all say the same thing, mm -hmm. and people in the east and the west are saying white, brown, and black, then you know it's like the facts, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone's talking about how families are like really breaking down, really struggling. Mm -hmm. and I can tell you some stats that prove that. But at a time where families are struggling, I believe in Allah 110. percent I believe in myself like 99 or 100. percent But I believe in Allah 110. percent So I have like high ambitions, high goals, and so on. So I tell myself I want to not just build a family one day. When people are struggling to have even you know, two people, two kid family. You know, right. I want to have a tribe. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, and then from there, you know, personal goals. Just increasing my knowledge on the religious side and in the dean side, and you know, how are you gonna do that? How? So you know, vision, mission, goals. Goals, goals, you have, uh, goals and below that is a plan. How do you achieve your goals? So course. vision, mission, goals, plan, plan. So like my plan is, I'm trying to use more of my time into studying for some of these things. Like I want to be. How are you gonna get the knowledge? How are you gonna get the knowledge? Oh, go to college or like guidance college. Or guidance college in Houston. You guys know this. Chief man, a lot. I met him. I know him personally. I've texted him sometimes, and he's great. He's specifically one of the global experts on cyber finance and, and, and banking and that stuff. So I know very little about, but it's very important. Uh, Guidance College. It's in English. Yeah. The recent piece of their online. Beautiful, job. It was great. If you want to talk about this topic of studying, you don't have to make it a full time. I don't know if you want to do a full time, but you don't have to do a full time. You can still do your masters or 
you know, work or get married or have kids or do something else and still do it part time. I can recommend five to ten different Islamic online institutes that I've taken a few classes with that I can tell you about the pros and cons and so on. We can talk about this. It's a beautiful topic. But continue. I apologize. What else? Uh, Rose, I, I got it. Probably right. And then obviously studying for my CPA, like after I do an internship or something like that, uh, a company will pay for it. So just trying to get through that. And then like maybe when I'm like 25-ish, uh, start looking towards financial goals of like, where do I want my salary to be? Or if I'm, if I want to have a uh, side business, how am I trying to do that? How am you I trying to- You want to work for corporate back and forth? No, I mean, but I'm saying like, what am I going to do? Like, what is the vision? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, And then from there, it's like, when you're 30, it's time to really look out. Where am I trying to take your family? How much money do I have saved up? Am I trying to buy a house? Can I buy a house? Did I save enough, right? Like, by the time you're 30, I'm trying to have, you know, at least some money saved up for. How, how do you get a house? How do you get a house in America without putting it on? Can, can you? Uh, yeah. There's a number of Muslim companies and Muslim organizations that help with that. I work with one, in which, as coincidence, we're talking about the Law Guidance College. Yeah. They actually partnership with them in the last way. And they're also both called Guidance. Again, coincidence. Yeah, it's not a guidance. guidance. It's a coincidence. Yeah. Guidance was initial. I work with them. Right. Right. That's how I'm planning to get a house in Toronto. Right. You don't right. have to have your you know, three, four, five hundred K in cash, nor do you need to put food banks in interest based loans. So it's time to do that. But uh, okay, it was good. We have other people told yeah. me. That'll be fun. I mean, that'll, 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 that'll bless you. They'll give you all that and much more. Mm -hmm. And I'll choose for you what's best because we think we know what's best. If I look back to the last 10 years since I've been in high school, and I had all the guy who wrote you to write everything down. I don't do so as much. Or I have the sorts of, I don't know if you recognize the name of stuff, I have the sorts of. I think one of the most undervalued people on the planet, one of my teachers and mentors. Teachers, mentors, teachers. Uh, he's in the UK. He says, uh, he's like, Abdullah, well, he said to us as a group, like over MSA, when I was in college, when I was with you guys like eight years ago. He said, uh, write your goals in pencil, not in pen. Write goals, don't not write goals. You should set goals. Even if they don't happen, even if it doesn't happen that way, you should still write your goals. Okay, that's part of the process. But write them in pencil, like, you know that they might change and that that's not happening exactly like that. So I was like, that's good advice. I wrote my notepad on my phone and I always create new notepads and I always edit them and I always change them. So I basically write them in pencil. But uh, so I'm like, brother, join us. Where are we at? Uh, guys, residential houses. Uh, I lost my chair. What were we saying? Uh, Families, uh, uh, work, a lot of good points. You know, businesses, etc. Beautiful. But I set your goals in pencil. Uh, yeah, anyone else? You don't have to, it's all right if you're not as extroverted and as confident as, uh, as our brother here, but what if, is if you had one thing to, if you had, you have to share your whole life, but if you had one goal or one thing that you want to share that we can discuss, it might help you, it might help other people, so no. Um, listening more and talking less. Because I talk a lot to my friends, and like, I just want to listen to the other person, being fully Beautiful, present. Shalom. Yeah, beautiful. I can't really comment on that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't listen as much as I should. Although as, a, as an imam, as a student imam, one of my jobs is to be to listen to people and to listen to the issues before you give an answer or a solution or advice. And some people told me directly, like, well, we just need, we just want someone to listen to us. I'm like, okay. I was like, come up with the answer. Like, like well, there's this guy that, or we must make an omelet. Oh, there's that video on the art. And it's, I mean, your job is always help people with their issues. But some people are like, oh, I don't know, we just want someone to listen. Because like, okay. they're not for me, you know. But it may allow, may allow it easier for you to do that. Building good habits and breaking bad habits is not easy. Change is really tough, but that's the whole game. Like if you look at life. Changes the whole thing, right? So it's tough, but and it's tough and it's painful to change, change yourself, change other people, change society. It's tough, but also there's purpose in the pain. That's the title of my talk in uh, Boston a couple weeks ago. Purpose in the pain. But also, anyone else want to share a goal they have, or a plan that they have, or a vision, or what their vision is for their life? Anything that we can discuss? Um. So I think that my vision for like the rest of being at Texas State is to continue like being part of the Muslim community and making it bigger because we have such a small community here, like. When well, I first I, oh, sorry, I was walking around Texas State earlier today, so before I, yeah, and I met some friends. I I, uh, I saw Muslims everywhere. There's hijabis everywhere. Where? There Here? are, there mm -hmm. are, but there, there's a lot of like, they just, you know, like, it's also a lot of commuters. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people. Yeah. 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 Ye
Do you guys just have an older brother, Issa? No. Are they? I'm the only brother in my family. Yeah, looks like I look like a lot of Arabs. So. <laughs> and fair enough, but I mean, there's some that I thought look like you, but that's okay. But anyone else want to share something up there? How about Asamra? How can how could she help build the community more? Join the board. Get on the board. <laughs> Who's raising your hand for the board? If you guys want to ask me. Okay. Is it, there's others in the church, but not you, right? Yeah, yeah. So what? Pre president? Vice president? Or president and then coordinator. Okay. Well, so the vice president. Is it, sorry, there's a number of other people. Though. But this is time for like elections now. Yeah. Because of people graduating, people are leaving. I'm a junior. You guys leaving? Or? You should join. I would. Junior. I'm a junior. Yeah. I'm a junior. I'm a junior. Wait, 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 freshman? Oh, he's two are freshmen and they're freshmen. Yeah, junior. two are freshmen. But you're junior. I'm a junior. I'm, I'm a junior. He's about to graduate. Junior. Can you run for something or not? You can. Yeah, age. Yeah, you can. I, I can, yeah. Because I, I don't know that much about any of you guys, but if you're like among two brothers that comes to an event, that, that could be a sign that, like, that's, that's an issue. Right? So, I've thought about it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Big responsibility to be part of it. MSA. Sure. I always have a lot of respect for people that are MSAs. Yes. <laughs> any MSA, and I visit, I've visited a number of MSAs and I'll continue to do so. Any MSA you go to, any one that's an executive, anyone in the MSA is welcome. The executive, especially, they're always free to like, text me anytime and call me, FaceTime me if there's like, I can help with anything. Well, something's going to be done. You know, virtually, something's going to need to be in the same city. But if there is anything I can do, I'd be honored to help them. Any class that I give or anything that I do that I do charge for, most things I do, I don't charge for. But if I charge for anything, MSA executives get it for free. And I'll do that long term, inshallah. What else can uh, help uh, be on the board? What else? Anyone else want to send, share a goal or a plan or something that we can offer them? Think big, guys. Especially if you, because look, in college, if you're 18 and below, like if you're high school and below, and you see something really big, like I want to change the wall, I want to slay all the dragons, I'm a high school kid, right? Say, so I want to slay the dragon or you know, whatever, whatever, whatever big thing. It's cool and like it's cute. Like they're a kid, they don't understand how the world really works, so it's like, it isn't, yeah. Now, unfortunately, I'm not saying that we should be like, you know, Tell a kid like, oh, that's not what it's like. You should do that, right? Kids have imagination. There's a purpose for it. But yeah, but basically, 18 below, you don't understand the basics of how a city works, that how the world works. You don't understand your city because if you're in high school, you won't probably haven't been much outside of school and home and college, right? So it is what it is. And then after college onwards, I'm not saying you shouldn't think big afterwards. And I have to try to still think big and help to do something in my life. And you shouldn't like kill your imagination or anything. And you shouldn't still try to do things bigger than just you and your family and so on. But you have more responsibilities and commitments. I know you guys heard that early time, so I'm not going to keep that. But in college, that's actually the best time to be setting the big goals and have a vision, mission, all that. And to the best of your abilities, and you will not stick to it because as you learn and grow and so on, things will change and priorities will change, and that's fine. But that is a great time to set those big goals, and then you do your best to accomplish any, any one of them, as much, or as much of them as much of them as you can as you get older and as you pass through college. But college will be the time to have the crazy big goals that are hopefully good goals, and then even if you accomplish 10% of it, if they're really big, then that's big. Right, 10% of big is bigger. What's that big, like, big, like? She's an engineering student. You want to build anything crazy? <laughs> <laughs> we boss. Anybody, yeah. with all due respect, we're all brothers and sisters. Yeah. Anyone that's studying, anyone that's, that's in a major that's not a STEM, not engineering, computer science, medicine, what is it? Psychology. Okay. Business. Yeah, science, isn't it? Yeah, I don't. They, they can't take a STEM, no. What? Business is not a STEM, it's psychology. Psychology is a biology class, but there's a science in it, and there's also like philosophy, like right. theories. It's, but it's like on the fence. Yeah, if, I said, if you have a different view on that, you can share that and it's a psychology book. Yeah, so I'm not going to go into the STEM aspect. Like, I'm aiming towards law school, so it's like not I did two years of law school. Oh, really? So we can talk about Chola. <laughs> most, of, most of the media is stacked with engineering, medicine. So I don't know you guys know this, but we need more. Most of us are 1% of America and 10% of the doctors. It's not a bad thing. It's wow. a beautiful stat. But like, I really do. I'm assuming most of you, maybe not all of you, or most of not all of you probably was born and raised here, right? Please don't tell your kids that they have to do engineering or medicine. Like, if they do that, that's great. And if you have the happy, happy that they're not at Texas State party while they're there. But tell them that they have to do that. Like, why? Why are you making it? Like, that's only, like, only the highlight options. Everything else is Macro or Helen. Why are you doing that? Why do they, they make like that? You know how many majors that you want know, in UT and probably Texas State? You know how many majors there are? So 150, 150, 150, 200, yeah. 150, 200. You know how many of them are Helen? I got to be two or three. I don't know, right? Like, two or three. Like, but we make, like, someone in community, we make it out to be like, there's only two highlight options, the rest are Helen. Don't do that. You're hurting yourself. You're hurting our community. You know what our community needs? It needs more therapists and counselors and people that are experts in psychology and mental health. It needs more people that are uh, scholars, imams, you doctors, dais, etc. Dais. It needs more uh, lawyers, politicians, um, people that know media, and etc. What am I missing? Help me out. What do we need more of? Healthcare engineering. I'm going to be a chaplain. Inshallah. How's the chaplain? You guys on rice? Yeah. School. I'm actually very proud of that. Yeah. You're hungry. You're fasting. <laughs> 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 School. <laughs> Do you like Christianity? I love it. Yeah. First day of Ramadan. First day of Ramadan. I'll be back to the Claudia University in Oman. It's called Great University of Private. It's kind of like rice of Oman. Is that the best analogy? You know, small private school. And uh, it, was, it was actually one of the best events I've ever been to. It was like 100 
over 100 people on a big campus, and 30 or something, like 60, 70 or not, it was beautiful. It was very diverse, and um, yeah, we had a good time. They saw us pray, they saw us everything. We discussed things, they had a $100 prize, like a trivia question, and it was beautiful. But they, uh, uh, it was Christian, it was Egyptian catering. Yeah. So, uh, I'm hungry, I'll be honest. But okay, uh, right, yeah, so all the chaplains, we can talk about chaplains if you guys don't talk about it. Chaplain very briefly is a volunteer, but I can also connect you to, there's a handful of Muslim chaplains. We need more chaplains, 100%. We need more chaplains. This maybe, you guys know how many MSAs are, shall we wait till she comes back for her? No, she's picking up food. She wants to pick up food for Isar. Yeah, but like, like two minutes, three, or no more. Oh, yeah, she needs to drive there. Okay, no, no, I'll get to you. I was going to say, I want her to hear this, but that's okay. And the video is recorded. Um, you guys know how many MSAs are in the US and Canada? Yes. 127. Much more. More. Much more. 3,000. 450. 1,000. 450 more. Less. 680. 605. Yo! So, so about six, 605 MSAs in the US and Canada. But how many chapters do they have? How many people do they have that are not like exams, projects, midterms, fine? Like that's someone outside of the timeline that can actually help them out with their issues. Like so also someone older. It's someone that can go help them out so that not every four years you got random people that are like, oh, oh, the university, where do I find everything? What resources in quite like well, every four years? Someone outside of that that can help them through with their issues, and personally in their issues, advise them but also help the NSA like be sustainable. And a whole there's a whole list of benefits here. Whole pose of video, whole pose and talks and therapy and counseling. Uh, how, many, how, many, how many of those there are? How many chaplains there are for these 605 MSAs? How many of them have chaplains, roughly? I don't know the exact number, but huh? I think it's a lot less. I think it's like 25. There's, there's it's California, there's a number of them. The, the Ivy Leagues have a number of them. Which yeah. has like a few other major cities in Chicago. Texas has uh, Atlanta, yeah. Sophia, or uh, UH. UH yeah. well, is, there, is there anyone else? Isn't Joe Bradford? Of which I'm going to say. He regularly goes and visits us, kind of like, you know, but like he's, he's less than John. Mm -hmm. Not like, oh, this is brand new. I know him pretty well. So like 25, 30, that's 605. And the, the MSAs that don't have that, they're missing out. They're like, they, well, it's not necessarily their fault, but they, they, there's a, it matters. It was Ustad, Ustad, Mahad, and Ustad, Ustad al Sophia, from the, what I know of them, I met the number of times I went to some of their events. We also left Houston recently, they came relatively recently to, to be in that position. And then you go to Houston, they were studying in Malaysia and so on, from what I know. They, they're doing a great job, amazing job. Like, like, if you, like, they're doing a number of things. If you can be successful in any one of them, that's a big impact. Helping number of people, they're helping people get married, the young people around the city of Houston and mostly the NSA. Helping them get married, that's huge. If you could just focus on that, that's a big, big deal for the community. They're doing that plus three, four, five other things, mashallah. But, anyways, good examples, I believe. They need chaplains around the US. Chaplains, well, we're talking about like different, we're talking about goals, we're talking about, we went into some tangents, but it's okay. Majors that we need to, like, especially encourage our kids to go into different majors if they're able to or interested in it. If they're able to, interested in capable, you know, like, tell them they have to be a you know, computer scientist or have to be a pre med major. Why? Those are good majors, they don't have to be. And then, to be honest, I want to be positive, I don't want to be polite, I don't want to be disrespectful or anything, I don't mean like that, but also engineering, medicine, etc. There's a reason that those were the, did you guys ever wonder why were those the majors that our parents told us every day growing up? You want to be an engineer, you got to be like, why, why those majors? Are, are they, do they make the most money in America? No. Are they the shortest years? Shortest years of study? Yeah. No. Respectable. Okay, the most respected in America? Mm -hmm. Maybe a doctor? Most respected in America? It's, it's, yeah. it's You think close to that, actually, that state? Stability and security. Why? Because they come from countries that are? Not stable. Not stable and security. Yeah. There's a reason for everything. That's why they study things. Sure. So you can't blame them, but also like, well, for us, if, you, if you're born and raised here, yeah. tell your kids you have to do gym, it's like, bro, what are you doing? Like, why? Yeah. why? why? Don't make the rules. Like, you know, Ardeen has halab, halab, Ardeen has rules. And a lot, the majority of Muslims in America, the majority of Muslims in the world today are millennials, Gen Z, and below. And I don't know if it's going to ever change. Let's assume until the day of judgment. I don't know. They're struggling with the basic halab, 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 Ardeen. They're struggling with the major sins, yes? Yeah. And it's okay, because guess what? The news is, and the Sunnah, the the Sunni Muslims, etc. We believe that you can have, you can commit major sins, and you're still Muslim, you can still go to heaven. Obviously, not justifying it, promoting it, etc. But like, we can do that. If you're struggling with it. Yes, Allah forgive us. He'll also forgive. That's good news. But then, if some, if you know that our own is struggle with the basic foundations of like praying, fasting, charity, etc. And the overly people fast. That's beautiful. The prayers, the five prayers. It's not the majority. Probably the majority of people. The Lord bless you. They don't time and so on. Forget that. Yeah, they're struggling with the major sins. The major, major sins. The major fallout. To come and add a bunch of list of, of, of rules that are not even from the deed. Not only minor parts of the deed, but not even part of the deed. And in this particular example, majors. It's not always not part of the deed, and not a. It's not against the deed to be a German, obviously, but it's not always it's not part of the deed. It's also not the best interest of our community currently. So, like, of course, if you don't know, you don't know. But when you know, so please, encourage your kids to go to these majors. Yeah, they can, able, or willing, and capable. What else? Other topic? Other I mean, goals? No one shared a vision, but goals. That's okay. Let's discuss vision, mission, goals, plans, and how to achieve these goals. Okay, I'll say one thing before you really and then and then you guys, I'll, I'll, go, I'll get back to you. Um, I encourage you. We set these goals, right? And tonight might be a great night, it's an even night. It's a good night to sit with your boy come up with goals. Not tomorrow night. I mean, don't delay things. Try to do it tonight, inshallah. You guys already done so. Uh, set goals that are financial. 
And you, but then Michelle, you mentioned you already kind of did this. That was a beautiful example. You went first, you went like into multiple areas of your life. That was beautiful. And all of us you. Um, and you met with that. Um, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I set financial goals, financial, economic, business. Listen, if you want to call it career, business major, it don't really matter. In your notepads, in your journal, you use the words that you love. And what matters to you, what's relevant to you, it's irrelevant. Don't get stuck on the words. But set career, financial, business goals. Set, help me out, other categories. Set, family, relationship, marriage goals. Religious. Set, religious goals. Religious? We'll get back to that. Religious? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get back to that. No, don't do that. We'll get back to that. I'll tell you why. Huh? Dean, spiritual, religious. Don't do that. We'll get back to that in a second. So yeah, relationships, friends, family, marriage. Okay. Okay. Categories, categories. Within that, yes, you should have community. Different areas. Community. Okay. community. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Like so, so financial, huh? Physical, like physical bodily. Like work, workout, fitness, health. Hundred yeah. percent. What else? I think this was the major one. Did I mention something? Okay. You're hundred percent right that you can't be setting goals and nothing about deed. But you know what I encourage you to do? Don't make deed that that fifth or sixth category. Right. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, it should be the first and primary. No, it's not one of the categories. It's the whole umbrella. Yeah. And that's major. And that's exactly what I spoke about yesterday. You say. I mentioned it was about God's existence and God is real in our lives. And I said, practically, this is how you make God real in your life. It shouldn't be a secular, a secularism, the dominant global ideology of the world today, the dominant religion of the world, but we don't call it a religion. It's not Islam or Christianity, the most influential religion on the planet. Mm -hmm. you know, the dominant? Yes. It's called secularism, secular liberalism, yeah, money, they worship money. But the majority of also Christians and Muslims in the world today buy worship money as well. But anyways, it's a human thing to do. It's a mistake though. But yeah, it's secular liberalism. And I'm not going to go into detail because that could be not only an hour long talk, it's hours because there's pieces under that that's a religion with a lot of different belief systems and practices and actions. Well, desires. Desires. It's secularism is yeah. about desires. Secularism, the definition of the actual word is like separating religion from public life or church and state or pray at home and outside when you're in school and just talk with everyone else and dress with everyone else and buy from the same restaurants and buy the same brands and dress the same way and talk the same way, follow the same YouTubers and Instagrammers, be exactly the same as everyone else. It doesn't matter if you're white, brown, black, it doesn't matter if your parents are Muslim, Christian, whatever. You're in Texas State University, for example. If you see on campus, you see exactly what this is like. It's not some abstract ideology. Look on campus and you see exactly what I'm talking about. But it's like you all feel like look the same and you know, it's good. And it's business, it is money because the brands and the companies mm -hmm. are, it's all connected. But yeah, do all that. But if at home you pray and you're Muslim, you're Muslim that's fine. Actually, we love that. We support, we love everybody. We love white, brown, blah, blah, blah. You see it? Mm -hmm. What would that one say? That's not democracy, that's hypocrisy. Yeah. You have to support our businesses. We don't care who you are, support our businesses. It's like, it's econ economic, but like I said, economic exploitation, social degradation, and political oppression. But anyways, that's a tangent. But yeah, secular liberalism. Oh yeah, part of it is yeah, pray at home and don't don't do you know, don't be giving dawah. That's not PC. Don't be telling people that you know there's the truth or there's gender and gender. And what do you want? We do because we love people. But don't do that. It's not PC. Don't be telling people that, that there's a way to see gender or a way to see relationship or marriage versus hooking up and dating. And don't be talking to people about where how they earn their money and how they spend it. And, you just your religion. That's great. You're Muslim. We love that. You're, that's a beautiful thing. Great morals you guys are. But just keep it quiet. Just, just pray at home. Don't do it publicly. You wear your hijab because that Quran is beautiful. That's your personal choice. It's like they don't put you in a box. So yeah, don't allow people to do that. And yeah, part of part of us internalizing that is what even practicing Muslim religion we just do. So finances, your business, career, education, whatever, your fitness, health, whatever, your school, whatever, and then Jesus is one of the boxes. It's not one of the boxes. You guys get the point? See how it's connected? That second is exactly it's one of the boxes. It's at home. It's in, in the masjid. No. So. Uh, do I think of, yeah. If you look at it, Allah says why I created you for no reason except uh, to worship me, but not just to pray all day, trust all day. That's not what worship means. Prayer plus dua plus dhikr plus hajj plus umrah plus zakat plus salah plus prayer plus all of that plus fasting, all of that and much more. All that is only one size of the pie. I say only like I said, I'm not trying to minimize that because these are some of the most important things right here. But all that is your ibadah. That's one size of what ibadah worship means. Our purpose in life is to worship Allah. One size of that is those personal rituals. That's personal ibadah. That's one size of ibadah. That personal. Relationship with Allah, praying, fasting, and all. But the rest of the pie is what? Relationship with your fair parents, friends, neighbors, classmates, coworkers, professors, teachers, MSA people. How, 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 do you, how do you be an MSA executive? Is there, is there many different ways to be an MSA executive? And it's like different personalities, different fine. Is there some wrong ways to do it? Is there some good ways to do it? Is there, okay, so our religion is about all that. But see, we have, with all due respect, I'm going to use you guys as an example, but like, I know you guys have been there. Inshallah, you guys, hopefully this helps you. But you saw there's deep, and there's my MSA, my, my, my fitness, my workouts, my plans, my friends, my. The guys and girls I might be considering for marriage, what my parents think about whatever, my my, my Eid and my celebrations, then my outfit, my dress, and then my deed. No guys, so all all those things are I didn't mention a single category of something you should be ashamed of. My outfit, my my friends, people I want to hang out with, my Eid, my celebration, my school, my work, my colleague, my workouts, my those are all beautiful things. There's some nonsense that you could do in business in relationship, but like those are all categories that are good. And our deed has something to say about all of them and a way to do them that's beautiful. So that's our better. Make sense? Mm -hmm. I think for that, I'm, I'm, I'm content with that for today. Like, I, I think I shared, that's all, that's what I basically wanted to share. But discussions, questions, comments. You guys can ask a question on anything. Obviously, I don't know about everything. I'll say I don't know if I don't know. But you can ask on anything, even if I did, even if it was something I touched on, we can, 
we can talk about it. How many minutes so far? About 30. I do have a question. Yeah, well, um, and we can make them good, like, yeah, I'd rather receive you again, and so I, if I don't want to know, but, like, don't, like, just ask the question, if I can, I might be able to talk, and I might not be able to go. Since Ramadan, obviously, yesterday, sorry, but yesterday at UTSA, we went off, like, we went on, like, because also it's one of the most practicing and conservative embassies in the country, so I just went into, like, relationships with gender and marriage and some of the issues in our community, and I just went off and, I don't know if I regret it, I don't think I regret it. I find that some people lose their attention. They're my sisters. What'd I think say? some of the sisters were a little bit upset because, like, but I love them, you know. I didn't mean it, but I just, yeah. But let's, let's, well, let's. They were, I decided from now on to go to MSAs. Women were up in a riot for it because I wanted to see it. Oh, my mom, that wasn't right. They were very polite. I forgot. They were very polite, very respectful. Okay. So, right is not, is not accurate. Why? But, but, but I, some of them messaged me, thank you so much for the talk, but like, we didn't agree with you, and some of them were basically offended by something they said. And that could be wrong about those things, but I think it's not right to, like, not, like, no one in the most community in America. I think it's the case. But think of it, if no one in the most community ever talked about marriage, is that a good thing? No. <laughs> So, I mean, that's, that's not why that's about the topic, but I bring it up among other things. That's not why God's distance and religion and this stuff. Like, but I bring it up a little bit about marriage because it's on my mind. But uh, it says some things are not PC, but I'm it's college know. campuses. We're speaking to IBTSA, it's not, it's not PC, but I think it's okay. PC politically correct. Oh, Same thing, no one offends anybody. We know all this, you know, diversity of love and cool. Like, okay, man. Yeah. I don't disagree with these things. These are supposed to, yeah, these are supposed to be offensive. Yeah. No, okay, see, I don't agree with them. Right? I, I wasn't intending to. Well, those are literally my sisters. I'm not sisters. Those are my sisters, and I'm not going to mean to offend them. But some things are true that are not like comfortable and fun realities. Okay, I'm sorry, but go ahead. Okay, yeah, so, so, sister. So, sorry. My question. Okay. She was definitely. Sorry, go. Oh, my question. How do you deal with. Uh, this is very diverse. I like this. white, brown, and black. It's a small group of people. This is beautiful. So, this is our beautiful. I love it. Since Ramadan is a yearly thing, obviously. Uh, how do you make sure that that same. How do you maintain the momentum? How, not not only the momentum, but how do you keep every single Ramadan for the rest of your life special? Oh, and, and not make I'm gonna ask you that. the next Here, one kind okay. of okay. diluted by the the, uh, the one before. Like it's where it becomes repetitive. Right. So years exactly. different than Ramadan, but older Ramadan is the same. That's exactly. a beautiful question, Michelle. I don't know if I'm gonna try to provide value. I'm not, I'm not the most. So our deen is about knowledge, spirituality, activism. Yeah. You zoom out, sisters. Our deen, like like you zoom out, like areas of personal development or like areas which you can work on or areas of you know however you want to put it. You can say knowledge, spirituality, exorcism, mind, body, soul, that's fair, right? That right? So people have generally different strengths and weaknesses. Okay, knowledge, I know some of the basics. There's always people, plenty of people that are more knowledgeable. I'm on that, and it's for the rest of my life, we're always learning. Knowledge, I think, is from my age, it's like decent, right? Exorcism, I don't have that on, but quite active. You know, I do, uh, you know, media wise and politics wise, and, you know, uh, lobbying, Congress, and protests, and uh, all those, and talks, quite active. Spirituality, very low. Well, maybe average, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, not like really strong. So it's a spiritual question, so I gotta admit, it's not my strength. My strength. But here's, here's, here's what comes to mind when you ask that question. That the ideal, in theory, it's easier said than done. This is how your life should look like, or just how, this was, this how about this, how was. This is, the, this is your year. You know how about ups and downs and throughout the year, it's natural. The event goes up and down, we're not prophets. Prophets like, we're not prophets, it goes up and down. So yeah, so you're still a believer. And you feel bad when your event is bad, that also means you're probably sending more than you usually do, or you are sending you usually don't, or whatever. Or you're sending major sins versus minor sins. You're sending because your event is low. And then you feel bad about that, that's part of Iman. Right? You feel bad if you said You feel good when you're at an Iman high. That is the same kind of faith. Okay? So throughout the year, it's ups and downs. It hopefully, it's kind of on the increase as you get older, you get more life experiences, more mistakes, more forgiveness, more tawbah. And you're sitting, sitting and recognizing that that's the process. We need all more life All that should be equal to Allah. But basically, you're like, whatever. Okay? Ramadan comes and it's a spiritual high. Even if you have an up and down within Ramadan, but overall, it's better than the rest of the year. And afterwards, you're not going to get the same level the rest of the year. You might go down, but you're trying to go down less than. Which are going to go down higher than, you get the point, than he was the year before. So that one, it changed you for the positive. Let's say you, you know, broke one positive, you made, you added one good habit and got rid of one bad habit, let's say. Some people try to do three, four, five, I don't know, I can't really do that. I don't know, like, I don't do cold turkey or anything. Like, it's hard to, like, I don't make drastic changes. I'm not that tough. A lot of friends messaged me, called me, like, yesterday. And while I was speaking at, while I was walking around at UTSA, there's a friend of mine who I grew up with as a kid, this was maybe super, super happy. He told me that he quit smoking cold turkey in my area. So, whatever, 10 years of smoking, quit cold turkey. Very proud of him. So how do I do that? Some people can do that. If you don't feel bad, you can do that. Most people can do that. But in Ramadan, you either, let's say you made one good habit and broke one bad habit, you know, even if you can only do one of those things, it's great. Maybe three things. And afterwards, you didn't, you didn't maintain all that, but at least one of them. So you're better. So you're better. And then you're still up and down. Next time Ramadan, you get the point. So how do I look like? You zoom out, your life, it'll look like what? Oh, yeah. Easier said than done. That's a big goal. That's really all I have to say about that. That's a great question, though, inshallah. Not my strength. You might think, a lot of people think, oh, cool, most of oh, every Friday and go around to get at the same and you cool eyes and anything, something must be like amazing. Bro, I struggle with basics sometimes, go ahead. Oh, and don't, saying, don't beat yourself up if you struggle with the basics, that's okay. Yeah, I was saying to your question, like a big part of Ramadan is like community vibes. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. society, I love the word vibes, yeah. <laughs> she has to know the word vibes in there, go ahead. <laughs> if, you, if you like throw yourself in the community, 
be a lot more than outside of Ramadan. It'll feel special either way. Like decorate your house, you know, buy new clothes. Like, decorate your house, buy new clothes. Yeah, like, because like spraying with like nice clothes makes you feel good, you know. So it's like whatever you, makes you feel good outside of like Ramadan, you can do it for Ramadan more. You know? That's what I guess. Can you ask yourself, Peggy? Can you talk about that? Something about bills, good clothes. Something about bills? Consumers. Like paying for the consumers? No, not exactly. What's the moment what she said? A lot of thinking, which is just. Oh, with property. If I could be not, if I could be like no filter, if I could say, you know, I was thinking, I was like, subhanAllah, Allah created everyone differently. It's just it's amazing. We're just different. Like, we had to be honest. Like, you know, yeah. I, don't care, I don't care if the whole world decides on one day, but then there's also something that we're different. Like, yeah. it's a beautiful thing. Because I'll say this also yesterday. We're different, and there's a purpose for that. Allah without purpose is a test for both of us. But it's beautiful because. A man and woman together can do what two men can't, and maybe even three men can't do together. Or I really hundred men can't do together and have babies. But uh, two, two, uh, a man and woman together can do what two women, three women can do together. Is that fair? Is that accurate? Yeah. yeah. In corporate America, what's the term for that? More than the sum of the parts? Was it, uh, the total is more than the sum? The whole is more, worth more than the sum. Yeah, what's, what's the term in corporate, like buzzword? It starts with the S. Synchronicity? No, it starts with an S, though. That's cool. No. Synergy. Synergy. Yeah. Smart. Synergy. So that's how I think of it. That's how I'm going to explain it. But Allah can move differently, but together we can do beautiful things. It's beautiful that we're different. We're not all that we're the same. We're not the same. The way she described it, I, we, no, like it was all language. Like, it's not like we don't understand what she's saying, but like, yeah, I mean, that's not how we think, right? Yeah. Like, that's okay. I don't think like I need to be close for Allah. I got a haircut for eight, so we're not like we're not like different planet. We're not like English from a different planet. I get it, yeah. but that yeah. I, I didn't get miracles from Allah, but like if you wanted to feel so, like but the thing is, why, 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 are you, why are you defending yourself? Why are you defending yourself? I said nothing wrong. Like it's a beautiful. I'm saying it's beautiful that we're different. <laughs> you don't need to. Like, you, didn't, you said nothing wrong. You said you were just being honest. That was your that's your experience. Nothing wrong with it. But just men and women are different. Exactly. So there's nothing wrong with that, right? My this president, what do you think? My dad president. Is it? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said men and women are different. Is that okay? That's not right. Really, way of saying it. <laughs> She's not sure if it's okay or not. No, there's a lot of pressure. To be, to, there's a lot of pressure to be president, yeah. Yeah. In the world we live in today, president of a Muslim organization, that's not easy. No. Talk to us a little bit about it. What's um, your vision, mission, goals? Talk to us. Anything. My vision, mission, goals. Of no, no, or, or the other question, whatever you want to answer, just tell us. It's tough being a president, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Tell us. What is that like? Um, personally, like my vision, mission, goals, whatever. Um, I want to focus more on my mental health. Um, personally, so. I bought like a journal to start journaling and all that. I know for a fact I can testify that that helps. A lot of guys think that's like a female thing, but like, I'll be honest. No, journaling? No. And I didn't, I didn't grow up thinking so long. No, okay. I grew up thinking that that's something that could work out. I don't have to like write like poetry, that's for girls, and also the top post in history of men. But anyways, it's, it's for men, it's words, but words are powerful. I uh, thought poetry is like a female thing, and I changed my mind. I started using spoken word, it's beautiful, and I follow people. Yesterday we, we heard that Bilal, I don't know if you guys know Muslim Bilal, he's from the UK, he's a Jamaican UK. But he was in the San Antonio at one of the big ones. He spoke, it was poetry, and it was, it was beautiful. But anyways, poetry, and I thought that journaling was like a female, or diaries, and I think it's like a female thing, feminine thing. I started a couple years ago, I started basically writing my notepad on my phone, that's kind of like journaling. Changed my life, I love it. How did you start? How did I Huh? One well, of my friends recommended it. No, and how it, did you start journaling? Because I'm having trouble, like... But you really, but legit, you never done it, you really get a spot from zero? Yeah, like I've never And I'm inspiring you to do so? Yeah. I did something today. <laughs> it changed my life, 100%. And it changed my life not in one or two ways, which is still big. It changed my life in four or five ways. For example, I knew football was like my regular. But now I drove football, but now I have content that I need to I thought about like, I, you know what I'm saying? I took notes. Uh, and I gave, now this, a number of things I said today really came off the top of my head like right now. But a number of them are pieces. Maybe you can tell that like, sometimes it's kind of erotic. I shared something I shared already 10, 20 times. And first time I written it down, then I shared it, then I just shared it. Does that make sense? So yeah. And, it, and maybe, yeah, setting goals. It, it changed my life in 15 different ways. I had it written it. And wherever I'm at, I have my phone. You guys never go on your phones. So no pad on your phone. And just write on there, and then start a new plan on different topics. Go back and edit it. It's like, I highly recommend it. But what did you say? How did I start? Did you guys just start? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you how to start. Sorry, your question was like, how do you start? I'll tell you how. It's not. It's not an essay for school, where like every word is gonna be graded. So don't write it like that. Or you look at like, like I have to. It has to be perfect. Then I have to write it. No one's reading except you. So you write it, and the next sentence you write could be like better. One has to be better, and it doesn't have to be like. Does that be something that like? What do you even writing? Like what? Yeah, no. That's Depends. If I watch a YouTube video on a seven lecture, then I might take, I might like maybe one out of one hour, maybe only one or two sentences that I thought were like kind of more cool. I write it down. Just one example. I had a conversation with somebody. They said something. I googled it, and then I like, I need to do more research on this new word. I just learned synergy. I never heard this word. I put the word synergy. Like, there's no. I don't mind afterwards. We're done. I'll, I'll show you my notepad. I don't mind. I'm sorry. Not like, too private. But but I'll be honest. I'll help this. When I when I think of like a different type of business or a new industry, I didn't think of or a new Muslim brand that I might work with. I have a, I open a notepad on that I write about them. An influencer I work with because I use digital marketing. Um, I thought about something I didn't think about before. Okay, uh, I researched something on marriage and divorce stats in America, so I'll write notes on marriage. Everything here. Uh, 
Anything. But let's assume, let's assume a lot. I, I know I do that multiple times. I apologize. No, you're good. What How do you saying? connect like, your thoughts to your emotions? Because a lot of what you're saying is just like Googling and like thoughts and all that. But like I said, we do. We just wanted to see you guys feel. It's okay. You know, we're different. We don't feel. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I tried I, 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 yesterday and the day before. The day before. No, 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 you're no, no. You're totally good. Huh? You have emotions. You're just not. Yeah. yeah. Society like really pushes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Time out. Why did I say you have emotions? Because you're saying there's thought, uh, thoughts and emotions. Best to the girls have the emotions part. Best to. I said that. No, but I'm about to leave. She said we have the emotions, but we don't talk about it. Yeah, talk about it. But did I say that? No, but that's that's what she asked, and you were like, yeah, that's how we're different. That's how we're different. Yeah, how we're different, but I didn't say different as in we only have thoughts and no feelings, or we have feelings. I didn't say that. You're assuming. I mean, you make a bunch of assumptions. I didn't no, say that. No, and he joked, and he joked, and he joked, and he joked, and he kind of, kind of took the same, that, 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 that stereotype, but I did not say that. Okay, well, I said how we're different. Every, like, it's how we're, one of the ways we're different is how we process thoughts and emotions, but not that we don't have emotions. Yeah. How about we're not very emotional? So do you, do you, uh, this class, do you journal your emotions? So, okay, we, so we what do you, she's, asking, she's asking you, like, how do you journal your emotions? I love this is awesome, Charlie. You know, I'm literally my brothers and sisters. I love you. But, uh, yeah, 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 but definitely in case anybody was, yeah, in some sense, it's not, I didn't mean to say it, it's not true, it would be not accurate to say that girls don't have a logic and rationality and, and thoughts, only that they're all, only emotional, that, or that guys have no feelings, both of these things are absolutely not true. And I know it's a tangent, but I think it's important to say as well, ooh, I apologize, I forgot about that. Also, also, a beautiful thing about our team, because men and women both have both, and we're humans, and someone could have more of one or the other, our team appeals to logic, 100%, and we don't contradict on logic, that's what I said. Also appeals to your emotions, not just logic. That's not, that wouldn't be for humans. We're not about it. Appeals to both without contradicting either, which is literally a miracle that's from Allah, and the and common sense without again without contradicting either, and our fifth law, our nature, which is also different, and without contradicting either of both. And only Allah can do that. Allah created the rules and the Quran, the Sunnah, the Sharia, whatever you want to call it, you know, the deed is the way of He created them and set them down, basically, and He created us and our nature, and He fit perfectly together. That was a beautiful thing. But go back to about men and women, or about, can you ask the question again? I apologize. What's the question? When you talked about journalism. Yeah, I will business, the marriage, no stats, facts, yeah. working with business, working with different brands. Like but I do definitely do both. I have one of my notepads, I have a bunch of notepads, so a lot of the different businesses. If I'm considering someone from marriage, I'm talking to them, I want to keep notes of what we're talking about. Just being honest, uh, friends that I wanted to be, yeah. But so all that stuff is there, let's call that logic and thoughts, or whatever. Goals, plans, vision, all the things I'm talking about, I have you know. And all the research all the topics I brought up, the research I've done on them, all that is in there, right? But also I have I also have, you know, probably what, 20, 30, 40 pages now I've written. Uh, multiple notepads. I call it quotes or whatever I called it, but I have like how I feel about different things. It's it's, it's a mixture of it's still thoughts, but it's also emotions. It's how I feel about different things. These are things that bother me in society. I'm very passionate about like justice issues, social justice issues, and about uh, yeah. So like if I see something that bothers me or I feel like people are like wrong on a certain issue or people are hurting each other or hurting themselves on something or people are struggling with something, I write about that. So is that th thoughts or feelings? Both, right? I just yeah. I just want to answer her, your question and uh, when I'm journaling because I'm really big on journals. Um, when I do that, it's it's more of like um, good and bad day. Like so it's like good mood and like a bad mood. So like for example, like what the good thing happened is throughout the day. Like I like to write it at the end of the day. So, and the the bad thing is usually my emotions. Like I explain like oh like I did I, like I just agree with someone. You know I write that down. Or like if I wasn't like feeling good about something. Yeah, Speak your cake today. You're talking a bunch of nonsense. You never invite it back. You write it down. One <laughs> <laughs> example. Huh? No, yeah. So that's like that's like how so, I yeah. express my emotion. Because you're right. Sometimes with, throughout the day, like I'm also like writing my ideas. Like I'm walking and I like something. I'm like take a screenshot and put it in my journal. Kind of thing, you know. That's fine. So, but uh, like without like throughout the ideas, but there's also like the emotion part, which is like I agree with you. It's like hard to like because. Is this accurate? If you something happened that day, or someone said something that you hate or love yeah. or excited, you write that down. Yeah. What emotions, yeah. love, so, hate, things you, things you find excited, things you find. I have one that find. I think that funny, funny, whether it's a meme or a, funny, is that an emotion? Mm -hmm. So love, hate, funny. What am I missing? I write those are all my notepads, yeah. as well as like some business and politics and current events and all that. Is that are we helping? Yeah. But guess what? Your journal is going to look different than everybody else's. Agreed, yeah. You just started. Just started. Yeah. I Let us know how it goes. Thanks. Um, Could be like a journal from God. So after every prayer, wow, just that like, was good. Yeah. Marshall, Marshall, I'm writing that down in my journal. Dua is exactly right, but she's like, good. Like, wow, why, 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 so, why so aggressive? No, I said, yeah, Dua, well, I was giving you a couple of minutes. <laughs> I, I, I said something else that offended. Uh, what was it? Dua, Dua is your journal? To God. 
So it's like after every year, they just like, yell out, this was kind of annoying, because they're middle schoolers, so they all they talk like that. So they're like, oh, this was kind of annoying. My teacher said this. It's just oh, like complaining to God and telling God what's good. Complain to Allah. Tell God what's good. Tell God what you want Allah. and how you want things to be. That's basically a journal, but like dua form. Because you could, you could do like written dua. I never heard it from anyone, and I love it. The closest thing I've heard is that the Quran is a love letter from Allah to us. I was like, whoa, and it was not part of this. It's not part of I'm putting it twice today. I told you, I value him a lot. And it means a lot to me. I encourage you guys, someone, someone I encourage you guys to Google. Especially I'm talking to like atheism, God, God, so some like logical. But also on some yeah. spiritual issues, has the sorts of things that you can highlight with them. He says, about this? Allah is the picture of a greater pixel. Allah trusts him in Allah, and we don't know what it means. What else? I wasn't pointing out, I didn't point out you, I'm saying, like, what, what else? Question for the journaling gurus. Gurus? Um, <laughs> what do you do with that information? Change, change gurus to what? What's the sounding term of guru? Um, Sheikh. The, the, the journaling Sheikh. What's oh. that? What do you do with that information after you write it down? Do you refer back? Depends. Back? You just... Oh, I don't go look at certain... When? When do you need it? It depends. Like I said, I wrote some things out and then I need it for the... Uh, go back to the... It's, like, it's more of like a... Evaluation for yourself and like after a month. Like let's say if you were consistent, mm. like journal requires discipline. And I feel like that's a really good way of like creating like within yourself, like I'm gonna do this thing and like, oh let's start this for a week. You know, you start journaling for a week and then you go back that next week and you read your first like let's say you start on Monday, you know, you read that and you're like, Oh, like I have improved so much throughout that week and then it motivates you to do that next week, you know? And then that carries on and how you like and it also helps you to throughout your day. I agree, 100%. The only thing I would say, not this week, but no, as a, you mentioned it, how it works for you, but it, it could be different for you. It might not be once a day for a week. And she had the rules on, oh, she said this, uh, yeah, the rules, like, there's, there's no, there are no rules for journaling. Yeah, no, no, definitely. <laughs> however, however, you want to write upside down, you want to write it diagonally, horizontal, however, that's your, like, creative idea. And we love this for sharing and uh, contributing to the, the love of your story. Beautiful. What else? Journaling, like, it's just like, a lot of times for me, like I just keep my emotions in. Like, there's no point. I'm like, I'm like, oh, God will take care of it. You know, good friends for a lot of people together. Yeah, yeah. 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 yell at each other, but yell, you don't allow each other to yell. I actually do have advice for that. Just call something gay and then the emotions go away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely don't do that. <laughs> that, 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 that. I don't think anyone is a small group. If you guys don't mind, like they all said at least something they shared with some. Do you try to say anything? You guys are, is it, are you guys comfortable just talking to us or? No, we're good. Okay. We're just listening. Nothing wrong with it, but like, I mean, okay, it's fine. She was talking about Sister, sister, talk, sister, talk to us. We're talking about vision, mission, goals. Using them a lot to climb the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm not saying no. Yeah, using less and less of a lot to climb like, the rest of your life. Like, thinking big, we talk about a number of other issues. You want to talk to us? You mind, you mind if I ask where you're from? Thank you. Love Houston. Yeah, well, yeah. Nigeria's from Houston. I'm from Houston, but I'm not Nigeria. She also goes to the same place. When I was at university, when I was at university, you said my room. When I was at the University of Houston, my roommate was not drinking. My best friend, one of my best friends, Michelle. She might know him. Uh, the, the younger guy. I talk after after the talk, we can talk about this. He's a student of knowledge. He's always in Michelle. He's in New York now. He's in Houston for a while. Um, uh, talk to us. What do you guys think? I also used to journal, but I feel like I used to like just rant because I like to talk. So when I journal, I like to like. Either I would either type it or voice record or both and like listen back to it. You but can have an audio journal, like voice notes, voice notes with the title. Yeah, so to rewrite in your notepad, and you can have both. And you can have videos, and you can have YouTube channels. <laughs> YouTube channels. That's why that's all I'm doing recording. Now I still have that bilingual vlog. Like if I had something to say, I'm just like, talking to myself, whatever. Video? Yeah. Video? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing all that. Don't know what, like, Mahasa, I was telling my girl the other day, too, like, Yeah, Mahasa is, like, the process of, like, accounting for yourself. So if you, like, if you're, like, thinking, like, journaling is, like, too long-winded, the way I would do it is, like, um, like, a re like, a, um, what do you call it? Just, like, a snapshot of the day. So it's, like, the good deeds I did, um, or, like, the, the good deeds I didn't do, but I wanted to do. And then the, my game plan for tomorrow is, like, um, I'd watch a lot of dramas a while ago and I'd be like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. And so I'd be like, no drama tomorrow, but then drama on Tuesday. You save, know? save your drama for your mom. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When we were growing up, you guys were all a few older than you guys. Yeah, and was it That's like, right. you I know, remember. like more like numerical? Like that would help you than like words. Sure. What else? Questions that I, maybe I can, any way I can provide value in the next few minutes, anything I can help with? 
everyone is free to you know text me whatever it is give me free something whatever if there's something i can help with i'll be honored to talk yeah but do you understand arabic because it's uh, from the so lately i've been like that's english yeah okay but yeah yeah i can yeah uh, it's but called arabish arabish <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's but, so um, it's my first time trying to pray Vasbokapte at the same time and I've heard that Ilibukapte it's like even worse than not praying at all. Bunch of nonsense, come on. Who are you listening bro? Who are you listening to? Sis. I don't know because it feels like well, you're, yeah, you're all playing, the people that say like, Allah, but like you're playing no. with something. Are you are you playing are you playing? No. Or are you trying? I'm trying. Okay, so if someone says something and it's not true, it's not true. I've, like, I've never, like, I've oh, never been in this place. Like, I either pray or not. Like, there's. Yeah, and, what do you, what do you, and what do you, what's your goal right now? To pray or not to pray? To pray. That's a bad thing? Come on. I'm going to flip the table. It's pretty good. Okay. It's, like, it's like the same people. You remember this? Uh, I don't know if this is too strong of a statement. I'll say that, that, that source that you heard that from the first one. Uh, no, I'm not talking to you. 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 I'm not talking to I mean, you got my answer. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And what world does that make sense? How about the hadith that says that the person who reads the Quran like fluently, they get educated for that, obviously. Mm-hmm. And then I'm pretty fluent. And I started as a kid. My parents taught me. My parents like, basically chose to do that. It does. It's a convert. Mom, like, I'll see you in about time where I'm not so practicing. A lot of Arabs are not. A lot of DCs are shocked. A lot of Arabs are not practicing. The majority of them. My parents basically chose to be in it. And they were in the message. And I grew up in the message because my parents were there and all of them. So I grew up with it. So I grew up with it fluently. But those people, the hadith says, those who read it like, they get more beauties. Why? Because of effort. The best I was talking about. The digital man, everybody is in big trouble. Except the one who comes to Allah with a pure heart. That's what I am. But I am. The digital man, everyone's in big trouble. And uh, no, everyone's in big trouble except those who come with a pure heart. Another one, another, uh, another ayah says, uh, it is, on that day, it is your pursuit, your effort that's going to be judged. So put those together. Like, it's your pursuit, your effort. See, uh, people judge you based on effort, based on results, and they don't care about your effort. What are your grades? Is that result or effort? Results. 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 They do not, what, you, what's your, what, what company do you work for when you graduate? Well, how much are they going to pay you? What do you do? Uh, what's your car? What happens? Is it results or effort? I don't care how many years you took, how much you tried, how many jobs you applied to today. No one cares. Even our parents, they love us the most when they in the world. They still ask, what are your grades? What job? Well, why aren't you? How about that person? Why aren't you doing the same as that person? So, effort is out of the window. It's about results. A lot doesn't do that. He measures based on the results of the effort and not the results only because the results are in his hands. How are you going to judge you based on the results when they're in his hands? That makes no sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's an example of like someone's judging you based on the results, not based on the effort. If someone prays like every other prayer, yeah, it could be for a number of reasons. And people wouldn't know. By looking on the outside, they don't know that. But luckily, on the digital we're standing in front of Allah, not in front of anyone else. Even though I'd rather have a lot of digital men than even my parents who love me and they take, take very good care of me. They're the best parents ever. I'd rather have a lot that are judging me than them. Because I know there's certain things, mistakes I made, but they made it a big deal. I'm like, you have no idea, I'm trying my best. You know, so. But Allah knows. Yeah, cut, up, cut, up, cut that source out. Yeah. Most people, or that type, I would say maybe that could be a good person who says a lot of good things to you and maybe they made that mistake. So fine, you're not cutting them out. But that mindset and that attitude of people that talk that way, that, it's not so yeah. older, that cut, cut out that cut out that attitude, maybe not that person, but cut out that. What else? Correct. Let's pray for us. Let's, let's pray that Allah allows us to pray all five prayers on time every Amen. day for the rest of our life, inshallah. Amen. Starting from this one alone. And until she gets there and she struggles along the path, inshallah, I'll make that happen. I'll it. Yeah, and I don't struggle with my five prayers. I pray for the last of quite late today, actually. I don't struggle with praying my five prayers every day. I've done since I was a kid, but I have 15 other things I struggle with. I used not to have to struggle with them. What's the Arabic and Islamic term for struggle? Jihad. Um, no. Come on, you're not a Arabian. Okay. Like, <laughs> my bad. And he knows. Yeah, he knows a lot of stuff. What's wrong with the majority of majority of Muslims in the world are not Arab. 80% of Muslims in the world are not Arab. And some of the top leaders and scholars throughout history are not originally Arab. I mean, if you're a scholar, they learned Arabic from the West. But they're not like Arab, you know, from other Arabic peninsula. The top scholars are Nisi, Bukhari, Muslim, and so on. They're from like the Persian Empire, yeah. and so on, these other areas. And uh, so I did not, not Arab. Uh, so in fact, not Arabs. Not to mean so. Some of the top imams of the 20th century, there's some definitely in, the in Egypt, a number of Muslim countries, in Palestine and other areas, in Pakistan and India. There's a number of uh, number of obviously strong scholars and figures, but some of the top Muslim leaders of the 20th century, the most vocal Daisa or what in America and other countries. Yeah, they're, 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 Af- they're African American, but they're not Arab or uh, I'm not Muslim. They're Muslim, but they're not, they're not Arab. Yeah, they're not the guys who are Muslim. They're not Arab. And all all the Muslim countries that way. But going back to the point, yeah, the term is what jihad. Is it a, a positive term in our view or a negative term? Is it strong kind of like is it is it a big deal or a small thing? There's different hadiths that say that it's like the sixth pillar of our deen. So when you're going through struggling with your prayers, that's a jihad, that's huge. Sixth, sixth pillar of our deen, sixth of the five pillars. Um, 
Could you close this off for dua if everyone's done? Like, yeah, or you have other questions, questions, comments? I can go to the end of the inshallah. What's that? What's the, uh, how much time till it's long? We got like 12 seven. minutes. Huh? 12 minutes. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. 7, 12, which is it? I mean, whatever you want. Hey, like 12 minutes. 12 minutes. What? Whatever I want. That's not how it works. <laughs> no, it's 12 minutes. I don't want it. It's a uh, 7 minutes. Questions or not? Um, I was going to ask, how do you combat struggling with keeping up with like running start that because for me, when Ramadan started, I felt better and doing good was like, it felt easier just That's almost Allah. physically. It's a good Allah. I'm, it's a bit of an anxiety for me that when Ramadan goes, the heaviness will come back and so will the jihad, like you mentioned, but like the difficulty so of it will increase. But that, that, they can't, that can go away because there's a whole lot of rules. Oh, you just have it like they did more, they paid more, invested more, give more charity, this one more in Ramadan. Yeah, they even fought more battles in Ramadan. They even fought better than this one in Ramadan. But the point is that they think it's harder in Ramadan. Even the Prophet Sallam, who, again, he's different than other prophets, are different. Their man is about being on the Their is going probably uh, all these long incline, but even in Ramadan, uh, he was, the Hadith says he was generous all the he was more generous in Ramadan. Like they paid more, invested more. I don't know if I can answer that, like, in that It can't be yeah. Yeah, it will always be easier in Ramadan to do more Ibadah. Ramadan is training ground for the rest of the year. It's practice. It's like, you know, if you're a coach, you're playing any sports, or if your professor is extra tough on you during the lecture, during the practice room, it makes the games that much easier. So this month is supposed to be, what well, to be fast, it's not easy. So not eat or drink. It's these things are needs and they're halal. But if you're able to push against that, then you're able to make it that much easier for you to jag against, to struggle against the things that are halal and that are not good for you. And they're not needs. It's a need for the more, for all the rest of the year. It's a training ground. But the rest of the year is going to be tough. It's, it's game time. Another month of game time, it can be easy. I think if you they'll, they'll all make it easy for you, so I'm sorry if I didn't say anything profound. But I think if you pick like one thing to just try to keep from Ramadan, like okay, I was doing this, like uh, okay, maybe I, I, I prayed all of my sunnah prayers. Maybe if I'm only praying the, the two one, two, uh, two uh, that's exactly. a great practical dialect. Like this. So what do you think? Let's say, let's say, do, let's say, let's say it's hypothetical. I don't know you guys. I don't know you guys, right? Let's say throughout the whole year you prayed all of your five prayers. Uh, yeah, on top, basically you prayed five prayers, that was good, but you didn't pray no sunnahs the whole year. And on Ramadan, you prayed, you know, two nights before each of those prayers, or, you know, two before that, whatever it is, you prayed the sunnahs, but, on one. but afterwards, you only did two before Fajr, and you weren't able to do the other ones. But that's progress. Don't beat yourself up. Because then next one, you had another one. Were you here, I think you came late, were you here when I said, uh, it was his question? I said, ideally, theoretically, if you zoom out and look at our lives, it should be like, this is the year, and then Ramadan, yeah. and then you come back, and then, so that throughout the year, it's like, throughout your lifetime. The, the thing is, Allah is so merciful for getting, we hope that if you're constantly getting better every day, even if there's ups and downs, but as your life getting better, that your last day is your best day, especially if, if you could, ah, okay, guys, I'll leave you with one thing. You will commit sins. The Prophet said that Queen of Benin, every child of Benin makes mistakes, right? So people sin differently, but everyone sins, right? But if every time you commit a sin, you ask Allah for forgiveness right away, don't wait the next day, don't even wait an hour later, don't wait like, when I get older, I'm going to ask for forgiveness for all the things I didn't. Commit, ask for forgiveness right away, even if you repeat that same thing, because some, some sins are addiction, so like, it's hard to like, even if you hate it, you still can repeat it. Ask for forgiveness right away every time. You do the same thing again and again because it's infinite. There's no, uh, there's no, there's no number of times which you can't ask for forgiveness even for the same sin. And even though Toba is saying, "Allah, I'm never gonna do it again," you do it again doesn't mean you're not trying. Right? That's part of addiction. She can tell us. She studied psychology about the cycle of addiction and all that. So and you keep doing that until until you break the addiction. It will happen one day. It takes years. But do that. Ask for forgiveness right away. And do that every day. But hopefully your last day is your best day. And Allah can forgive you based on everything else. And it will take you based on that. So your life's getting better. It will take you based on your last day and judge you based on that. That'd be that'd be great. Allah forgives our sins, have mercy on us, protect us, grant us the best in this life and the best in the draft, protect us from the hellfire. Allah has said, 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 Allah has our fasting, our charity, our dua, our qiyam, our tahajjud, our dhikr, our salam, our salah, and our umrah for those who do umrah during Ramadan, and for those who haven't made hajj in Allah, except for hajj, but they do it in Allah to do so. Allah unite our hearts, Allah has overcome any preconceived notions, any racism, any stereotypes that we might have. Unite our hearts, Allah has overcome any spiritual diseases, any things that might prevent us from, from, from being unified in our, in our efforts. Allah grant us peace and, justice, peace and justice in our times. Allah us to show the world that true freedom comes from worshiping you and none besides you, not through following our whims and our desires. Anybody want to add anything? You love to forgive. Allah, you are the most forgiving and the one who pardons and you are the most merciful. So forgive us and pardon us on this night and every night. I mean, anyone else want anything? Uh, Tasky of the heart. Ya Allah, grant us Tasky of the heart. I mean, anyone else?
Amen. Free pass on action here, and people the Uyghur, and the Rohingya, and the Syrians, and the Yemenis, and the Somalis, and the Malays, and everybody. Amen. Anyone else? Yeah. It can be, you guys know this, but it can be in any language, in any words. Go ahead. And we'll, 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 we'll all want to turn our hearts, keep our hearts firm and steadfast on your faith. I mean, anyone else? I mean, beautiful. Uh, Allah knows the truth clearly because it's tough these days. And guys, to follow it and show us the falsehood as falsehood and guys, to guide us to stay away from it and helping others stay away from it. I mean, do you want anything? Do you want anything? Any, any, any language? Spanish? I know Spanish. Go ahead. Of your ignorance. I mean, give us knowledge for our tests this week. I mean, I mean, I mean give, give us success. Give, give them all and all of us success on our exams and our projects and midterms and finals and make that make that degree come ASAP. Oh, yeah, please. Give us certainty and favor. Give us a I mean, anyone else? Okay, Alamma, 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 Farijan, Alamma, Farijan, Alamma, Farijan, Oh, beautiful. Allah, like, uh, allow us to uh, open up basically every calamity or uh, rid us of calamities. I mean, what do we have to look at? Allah said, Allah said, Allah said, heart and chest, Allah but health and well being, well being. I mean, what else? Anxiety and depression. But I see what I can say. Allah is dating Allah for Rijal. I mean, debt is modern day slavery, so Allah allows us to never be, never be in debt to anybody. Addictions are modern day slavery. Allah, so anyone of us that's struggling with addictions or ever does, Allah, so overcome that. The third one is prison. These are like modern day addictions in America. Modern day slaves, sorry, modern day slavery in America. Prison addictions and uh, death. What uh, is Jumi and Jumi, uh, cowardice, cowardliness, or cowardice, I don't know what the word is, being a coward. And what? Uh, uh, stinginess, miserliness. I mean, I mean, what else? Coolness of, guys, for the coolness of your mercy. I mean. And the sweetness of grace. I mean, beautiful. Allah save us from the hellfire. Allah, this one, Allah, and everybody that's here today, and everyone in San Marcos, everyone in the world today. <coughs> Allah is all to never, never spend a second in the hellfire. I mean, anyone else? I'll take In any language, Arabic, English. It'd have to be something you've memorized from the false every day. It doesn't have to be like that. Give me anything, just what's on your mind, what's bothering you. I mean. Dua. Parents, beautiful. None of us mention our parents. Yeah. We're so American in that regard. Very Western in that regard. Yeah, parents are like the enemy. In every movie and every show, the enemy, the parents are the enemy. You have to slay the dragon to become you know, live happily ever after. And a lot of times, the parents of the dragon have to slay. It's a bunch of nonsense. But anyways, uh, you know the I'll forgive you and my parents, and have mercy on them because they raised me as a kid. They they feel neglected. You even for a day, you could have died as a little baby. Allah put that mercy in their hearts. Allah's even more merciful. I mean, anyone else? Thank you. It was an honor.